Students, uh, this video will help you to understand how to simulate Thevenin's theorem using PSPICE tool. So, we will learn how to simulate uh, the Thevenin's theorem using PSPICE tool. Uh, uh, this simulation, what we do, will also help you to do the simulation even using uh, Norton's uh, uh, theorem uh, simulation also. So, Thevenin's theorem, you will have a voltage source in series with the resistance, where Norton's theorem will have a current source in parallel with the resistance. So, that is the only thing which you need to keep in mind. So, let us learn how to simulate Thevenin's theorem using uh, piece by two. So, in this video, we will learn how to simulate uh, the Thevenin's theorem using piece by tool. So, this is the circuit which we are going to implement. So, in this circuit, they are asking to find the power delivered by 5 ohm resistor. Okay. So, power delivered by 5 ohm resistor is what we need to ask. Uh, means they are, they are trying to ask. So, you need to find out what is the power dissipated by this load 5 ohm resistor which is connected across A and B. So, for that, uh, what we need to do here is we need to find out the current uh, IL. We need to find out the current IL. And then we know that power P would be equal to IL square into 5 ohms. This is what the theoretical uh, calculation that we can do for power. So what we need to do is we need to find out the current through the 5 ohm resistor. So in this uh, problem, uh, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit has been found manually uh, because P spice tool will never tell you uh, you know, for the step-by-step -step calculation to find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, we do it manually and we find out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit would be whatever we obtain the Thevenin's equivalent circuit that we get would be a voltage source in series with the resistance that we have which is Thevenin's equivalent uh, voltage source and this would be equal to 25 volts what we get by doing a manual uh, step by step what I have taught you in the class. So, I think if you do that, anyway in my video, Thevenin's theorem video, you can see what are the steps involved in finding out the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So, if we use that, this is the Thevenin's circuit we find. So, we find out current I L here. So, in piece by tool, what we do is we will try to prove the current IL found here is equal to the current found in this particular uh, complicated circuit. When both the current IL are equal, then you can easily say that whatever the circuit that we have here is been converted into a Thevenin's equivalent voltage source and Thevenin's equivalent resistance. If both the current IL through 5 ohms are equal, then this particular Thevenin's circuit is correct. So, whatever the Thevenin's circuit that we found manually, would be uh, a correct circuit that we have obtained by equating by comparing the current IL that we obtain in both the circuits. So let us do that. Let us do the implementation of this circuit using P spice. So the first components is the voltage source, current source, and resistances are we have, that we have. So to place the resistance, you should go to the search block and then you should search for resistance R. So, we need to place that resistance now. So, how many resistances we have in the circuit is 1, 2, 3, 4 resistances. So, I will place those resistances. So, if you press Ctrl R, the, the component gets rotated. So, I will place it here. So, I have 4 resistances in this way. So, if you see that, see 10 ohm, 10 ohm, 20 ohm and 10 ohm. That is what the resistances that we have. I just zoom it so that it is properly clear. Okay. Now we do have a voltage source, DC voltage source. So this is a DC circuit which we are working. So if you give a search for VDC, see we do have VAC and VDC. So we need DC circuit voltage source. So VDC place and close. So I'll place only one voltage source we have in the circuit. I'll place it here. See only one voltage circuit that we have, which is 10 volts. Other two are current sources. Now I need to place current source. So I'll search for IDC. So if I say IDC, I'll get a current source. So I need to see the direction of the current source. So here we do have a current source in parallel with this resistance. 
and also we do have a current source in parallel with this resistance in this direction see, if you go to the circuit see this current source is parallel with this 20 ohms in this direction this current source is parallel with 10 ohms in this direction now what we do is we do the wiring now then we'll give the values for each component so wiring based on the circuit whatever we have based on that we need to do wiring so this will connect here this will be connected here and this will be connected here then this will be connected to this this will be connected to this this will be connected to this then we do have connection here so now we do have another resistance which is of 5 ohms which is connected at the load so control r so it will be connected here so i can do the wiring in this the final thing is the final component is ground we need to connect the ground for this circuit so we'll say ground is g n t so we have ground analog and ground earth so we take ground earth place and close so we will connect the ground here yeah. this is the circuit which we will implement uh, implement now giving the values so i hope by default values you can see 0 volt 0 amps 1 kilo ohms for each resistance okay so we will change the values of that particular uh, sources now so voltage is 10 v 10 voltage is 10 v press ok then we have idc so current is 0 amps it is showing so we will give it to 2 amps is what the current we have so 2a you should tell 2a so the current source is now of 2 amps whatever we have so this is idc which says dc current then this current source is of 1 amp so i will give 1 amp value now we will keep give the resistances values so this is 10 ohms so you just press 10 so it says it is 10 ohms so k for kilo you can have m for mega and so on anyway we need to give in ohms so you just type the value whatever the values that are given in the circuit so now this is 20 ohms and then we have 10 ohms so we all got this circuit and now you see what is the load resistance connected here 5 ohms therefore this is equal to 5 okay now we have done with the connection of the circuit part now our job is to place the current marker where the current need to be found okay so i'll take the current marker so you can see a current marker on the top I'll place the current marker to that place where I am going to find out the current. So I am going to find out the current in this branch. So I'll place the current here. So I'll just move the circuit in a different way where I can mark the current. is the current which we need to find through 5 ohm resistance so that's it so now what is the next job is you need to save it so i'll just save it to some folder so i have already created a folder called vspice you can create a folder and you can give a name for this so this is thevenin's theorem which i am doing so thevenin's one let me say it is thevenin's one save it now I saved the circuit and let me see what current do I get through this 5 ohms. So for that no setup analysis and all you need not to worry about setup analysis which, because we are not seeing any waveform here. We are just finding out the current value through this 5 ohms. So just press on simulation. So the simulation is completed. So if you see this uh, value, so you press on this I so that it shows the current value across each resistances. So we have got the current through the 
you know the particular load is 1 amps the current through particular load is 1 amps can you see in this blue color so this is the current through you can see a red color arrow here if you move that current value it says this is the current through the load resistance 5 ohms when you press this i so i did not have voltage so i'll just press uncheck this voltage value so these are all the currents in every branch that you see okay so i got a current value through this load which is of 1 amp so therefore i'll note that value now i'll note that value here i'll say i got the current il to be equal to 1 amp now let me construct this circuit and let me check whether the current il through 5 ohm i i will again uh, reach 1 amp okay so for that again we will create a new schematic there we will construct this uh, reduced circuit reduced determinants equivalent circuit there so i need a voltage source and two resistances so this drop down menu will show the components which i have already placed earlier so vdc is required so i'll place vdc and then i need two resistances here so i'll place two resistances here one is this determinants equivalent resistance and then I need to place another resistance which is control R if you press. This is the load resistance. That's it. The in sequence circuit has this three components. So I'll just connect these components now. So these are the components which we connect. Now I need a ground again to be connected here. So that's it. So the evidence voltage value that we have got was what 25 volts. So I'll give this as 25 volts. Okay, I'll just zoom it so that you can see it. So 25 ohm volts and uh, the evidence equivalent resistance we got 20 ohms. So if you check here, we have got 20 ohms here. Then 5 ohms is the load resistance. So we'll give this as 5. Now you need not place the voltage marker or current marker. By default, it shows current values and voltage values. If we press this now, so just save this now. So I'll just save this as Thevenin's two. I'll just save this as Thevenin's two because Thevenin's one was the previous circuit which we have got. I'll save this as Thevenin's two. So I'll save it. So now you simulate. Let us simulate this. So if I simulate, I'll be getting the current value. See now. The current through 5 ohms is again 1 amps. The current through 5 ohms is again 1 amps. Therefore, the circuit what we had earlier, I'll just open that. So the circuit what we had this, we got the current value 1 amp, where the circuit got in, uh, in this, we again reached the same current value 1 amp. So therefore you need to take the screenshot of these two circuits with the current values and then you need to take a, a screenshot and then you, you need to attach uh, the circuit to whatever you have implemented in base by tool into your uh, assignment or into your notebook wherever the question has been asked to simulate. It. So this is just an example which I have uh, recorded so that you can simulate any circuits that it has been given in the uh, question or any question paper. I hope you got this particular Thevenin's theorem realization using piece by stone.